you found a vintage lighter and now you want to know if it works. The first thing you want to do is check to see if it has spark. There are two screws, traditionally, on the bottom of a Ronson lighter. The bigger one will have stamped in it fill here. That's where the fluid goes. So we're checking the flint first, which is the smaller screw. A little screwdriver here. There's a spring underneath this, so when it comes out, don't let it surprise you. It's kind of a pain. That spring holds the flint up. Need a new flint. Go get yourself a packet of Zippo flints or Ronson flints as well. Both are about the same. Little pieces look like that one. Which you probably can't see. Put it in that little hole. Put the spring back in there. That holds it up against the spark wheel. It creates the spark. I'll eventually get this started here. Then, give it a go, you'll see spark. Takes a couple of times to get a groove started. If you're getting spark, then gently test it by putting a little bit of Ronson fuel on the wick itself. Does it have enough spark to create a fire? Yes, it does. Then this lighter is probably perfectly fine. You'll want to open the fuel reservoir, the larger of the two screws, like so, and put fuel in there as such. I can't tell you how much because every lighter is different. Depends on the size of the reservoir, the amount of cotton that's jammed in there. There's different sizes. Um, if you have a, find a Zippo lighter, it doesn't have screws on the bottom. Traditionally, they slide out of a case. And you put the fuel into the cottony area, and the one screw is where the flint goes. Um, Calibris are also like that. They slide in and out of a uh, sleeve. As such, fluid goes into the cotton spot, and the flint goes underneath that little screw there. They all have a spring in them. Evans are much more like Ronson's, two screws on the bottom. And same general idea for large table lighters. Uh, I'll do a different one for touch tips.